Alright guys and welcome to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father and I've got a special mention to make before I do the video. This is to Stefan, whose YouTube handle is New Aeon Warlord. Uh, thanks very much for becoming a patron and this request is being done first before everybody else because of your support to the channel and we really appreciate it so thanks again. Uh, and I had to give you a little shout out there as well. So I hope you enjoy my reactions to the video. Um, I can't wait to watch it. As you know, I'm really starting to love Muay Thai. I don't know, I've not got a huge knowledge on Muay Thai, but from what I watch, I love and I just soak it in because it's so such a great um, um, type of combat sport. Um, so this video is entitled The Greatest Knee Fighter in Muay Thai, Tribute to Diesel Noi. And credit for the video goes to Lawrence Kenshin, who has 171,000 subscribers, so do subscribe to him and watch his stuff if you like this video as I've already done some of his stuff before and it's really enjoyable to watch <laughs> so um, just a little bit about Diesel now he does train people still and he does help train young up and coming Muay Thai fighters or aspiring Muay Thai fighters um, he's working with a woman right now in her gym I believe for the next month or so um, called Sylvie Von Douglas A2. If you've not seen her, do check her out. She's absolutely unbelievable female Muay Thai fighter from America. Um, and from what I led to believe, um, he's an absolute animal. He, he accepts no slacking in the gym. Uh, he, 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 he trains the way he would fight. Just absolutely hardcore training. Never rests. Straight into it. And uh, expects that from everybody else also. And apparently he's quite he was quite a tall fighter as well. Um for Thai, people from Thailand he was quite a tall fighter, so um I'm not sure if that would have helped him in the ring in terms of his style with the knee bringing it up. It might have made it a little bit easier, I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's watch the video and see what this is all about. Let's go. Tribute to Diesel Noi. Let's go. The greatest knee specialist specialist of all time. The sky piercing knee must be able to bring it up that high. Look at that. You wouldn't want that in the chin. He is actually very very tall when you see him in the sparring session there. The training session in the ring. Quite slim. I'd say even for the guy with the pads around the midriff there, that's hurting. You're feeling every bit of that. You're an absolute animal you can see in the training session as well, isn't it? Once he gets that lock around the head, boom, he's only got one thing on his mind and that's to absolutely knee you into oblivion. It literally is knee, knee, knee. It's just relentless. <laughs> now we're going to see it in fights. Let's go. <laughs> There's no padding on their body now in the fights. They're feeling every single bit of that, aren't they? I mean, maybe because he's got the longer arms, he's able to do it, and obviously with a height advantage, a knee is a serious weapon for him. I mean, his knee's nearly at that guy's chin when he brings it up. Why would you not use it if that's your strength? 
But with his arms being so long, it's really difficult for the opponent to get near him. So they're almost having to come through a shot to get near him. You can see him just putting his arm out, keeping them away, and then he gets the hands round the head and boom, 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 relentless knees. Just draining you right into the solar plexus. I mean, your liver and stuff like that there isn't designed to take shots like that. A well-connected shot with the knees. This is as good as a knockout. It must be impossible for these guys. They're coming into the ring knowing, right, don't get close. And if I do get close, get back quick. Get your shots up and get back. Because you can't afford to let him get the lock on with the hands around the back of your head. Seen a bit of kicking now as well from him. Oof. I mean, there must be, in most of these fighters, a, a good 6 to 12 inches height advantage. And it's probably a good 4 or 5 inches reach difference as well, judging by the... His legs are that long, he can nearly stand at one side of the ring and kick you on the other. That must have been a very familiar sight back in the day for the refs. Watching guys just getting kneed out. Boom! Down they go, right? Stop it. He's done. You can predict it. The outcome before the fight. He literally must have been a nightmare to fight against. How do you stop him? Because of the advantage and height, length of arms. Legs. Look at that. He wants to get up, he just physically can't. He's done. And this is what I love about Muay Thai, the respect that the opponents show each other after fights. I have like spiritual rituals before and after fights. And it's ultimate respect. I mean, at the end of the day, that guy's going in there to try and want to fight also. Not to... Not to hurt you. Not to, They don't hate each other. It's just respect. Lawrence Kenshin. Fantastic video. I really like that. It's a lot of old footage there because, obviously, we fought back in the day. But he is training now. So you can actually check out these old noise training videos, he does a lot with Sylvie Von Douglas too, so if you check out her, uh, she has a Facebook page as well, and she's also on YouTube, so if you check her out, you'll get to see a little bit about what he's all about in terms of training the young up-and-coming Muay Thai fighters, and it's full throttle, he doesn't give them a moment's peace, he, he demands nothing but the best, which if you want to become the best, is the best type of training you could possibly get, you might think, this guy is an absolute animal, I can't keep up with this, but You'll be grateful for it when you come to the fight because he's prepared you as best as he possibly can. And obviously that's the way he fought. Absolutely on the edge. All all in. Pff, relentless type of attack. Um, but as I said, through the video it's clear to see what he's trying to do. He just puts the hand out, keeps his, keep, finds his range, finds his range. And then when he sees them getting close and make a mistake, boom, the lock on. The lock on round the back of the head and just bring the knees to the body or into the chin or wherever you can land it and that's it. You're you're just gonna pray that you come out okay. <laughs> Brilliant video. Thanks very much, Stefan, for the um the suggestion. I really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed my reactions. And also I want to say thank you again for your support through Patreon. Um and you will still be receiving patrons only privileges as well. Um if anybody else has got anything else they'd like to see us reacting to on our channel, please feel free to drop a comment in the section below. And don't forget, guys, subscribe to the Don's channel. 
because we're going to be doing loads of cool stuff, loads of different types of stuff from around the world and you don't want to miss it. So put the notifications bell on so it alerts you to any future videos that we release onto the channel. That would be greatly appreciated too. And go on over to our patreon.com page, which is patreon.com forward slash the Don's channel to find out how you can become a patron and receive patrons only privileges also like Stefan. Thanks very much. I am the Don Father. Goodbye.